Tacoma mods that make no sense, except for aesthetics, maybe. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. And that's right. I wanted to talk about Toyota Tacoma mods that make no sense. And first of all, let me start off by saying that, yes, I am guilty of some of these myself. But when I really think about them, they just don't make any sense to me. I've got five here for you. Five Toyota Tacoma mods that don't make any sense. First of all, we're going to go around to the rear. Because this one, if you really think about it, doesn't make any sense, right? And it is the beaver tail right there. The beaver tail. I mean, we don't really need that, do we? I mean, there's a step right here built in, right there in the bumper on the Toyota Tacoma, right? Many of you have pointed this out to me. You've stated that there is a step back there already. Why in the world do we need another step on the rear of the Toyota Tacoma? And the only thing I can say is, for aesthetics, I think it looks good. I think it looks neat. Some would argue that maybe it keeps people away from the back of you, but... I would say that if somebody is getting this close, this close to the back of your truck, they're probably going to hit you anyway, right? Now, it might help with the damage. There might not be quite as much damage because you would hope that when they hit that thing, they would actually stop moving forward. But you never know. So the Toyota Tacoma Beaver Tail doesn't really make a lot of sense except for aesthetics, I guess. Next is under the hood. This one is highly controversial, highly debated, and that is the TRD. And I'm speaking specifically about the TRD cold air intake on the Tacoma. I have it on the Tundra and it's awesome. Gives me a little bit more grumble. But on the Toyota Tacoma, it didn't really do anything, right? I couldn't hear it. I couldn't tell it was there. It looked cool though. It was an aesthetic mod. People ask me, do you get any more sound out of it? Has your fuel economy improved, gotten better? And the answer is no, it doesn't. You know, the Toyota Tacoma comes with a cold air intake anyway, right? From the factory. It has a cold air intake. And to be honest, the only thing that the TRD cold air intake gives you is that larger airflow accelerator. It's a little bit bigger. Does it make any difference? Eh, you know, again, this is where people would argue. I would say no, it doesn't make any difference. And further, if that's what you're really going for and that's what you want, just buy that collar. It'll cost you way less than buying that four or $500 TRD cold air intake. Doesn't really do anything, but it looks good. Next up, and this one is kind of a pet peeve for me, and I know there are going to be people out there who disagree, but I'm going to say it anyway. This has to do with the interior and seat covers, right? Seat covers. People put seat covers on all the time. I have leather seats. You can see, hopefully, if it's not too dark in there, um, I do not have seat covers, right? I don't particularly care for seat covers because I find... They always bunch up under you anyway, right? I mean, you get in the truck, you scoot in there to get in the right position, and that seat cover rolls up under your rear end, right? So now you're sitting on a little curled up, long seat cover. I don't like that. Uh, I think that when you buy the truck it's, and you've got brand new seats in it, you should enjoy them, right? Who are you protecting them for? The next buyer? I don't know, unless you're going to keep the truck forever, maybe you're protecting them for yourself, but if you never enjoy them and you always put seat covers over the top, you're never going to enjoy it, right? Someday the truck's going to die, maybe you trade it, whatever, but you never sat on the seat. See, I would argue that you should only put seat covers on after you've ruined your seats, right? That's the time you put seat covers on. Now, there is the aesthetic argument. There are a lot of cool looking seat covers out there. And you know, I do a lot of things in my truck to dress it up a little bit too, right? I mean, I have the custom center uh, armrest or center console cover 
with my logo and colors on it. So I get that. It's an aesthetic improvement. And if that's what you're going for, that's cool. But why not enjoy the seats yourself? Ruin them first and then put seat covers over them. I don't know. Next up, and this isn't really a mod, it's more of an addition to the truck. And I hear this a lot when I talk about the spare tire. You know, people, some people, claim that you don't need a spare tire. All you need is a can of that fix-a-flat stuff, right? Or any of one of those brands out there where you can, you know, squirt stuff in your tire, hoping to plug up the leak, get a little bit of air in it, so you can keep on going, right? But that stuff only works in a perfect blowout, right? I mean, if you have a little pinhole in your tire or something, yeah, that goop is gonna get in there, it's gonna get in a hole, it's gonna seal it, and you should at least be able to get somewhere where you can replace the tire or get it patched properly. But it's not gonna help if you have a blowout, say on the side of your tire or a great big hole in your tire, maybe you rip one off-road, right? So if you think that having a can of Fix-A-Flat is going to get you out of a jam only if it's the right ideal flat. I mean, it's just not gonna work, right? Drives me nuts when people say that. Get a can of fix a flat. I don't even run a spare tire. Yeah, I bet you didn't run a spare tire right up until the first time you blew out a sidewall, and now you do. Next up, and this is the biggest one. This one drives me absolutely insane. And I'm talking about these gas cap holders, right? There are a few companies out there that put out gas cap holders. You don't need one. The truck came with one, right? You unscrew the gas cap. Here, I'll give you a demonstration, right? You unscrew the gas cap. It's pretty simple. It even gives you this little, uh, little I don't know what you call this, little area here that stretches out. I'd call it a jigger jaw. That's what I call it. But you have the holder here. You know what clamps the door over the edge right here on this little nub. If you take your gas cap, you put it up here and you just stretch that out a little bit, it sits right there. You can go ahead, put your gas in, maybe your fuel additive. Another thing I think is an absolute waste of time. But anyway, you can put your gas in and then you just take it right off, put it back on, screw it down, make sure it clicks a few times, you know, like so. Otherwise, you're going to get that dreaded check engine light, probably, if you don't put the gas cap on right. Another thing that drives me insane. But I just don't get why people do that. And there is no value to that, in my opinion. You can't see it. It's behind the gas cap. It's not, or cover, rather. It's not like you drive around with the gas cover open, right? Nobody can see it. It has no aesthetic value. It doesn't have any functional value because you already have it. It's like buying a truck in place of your truck. It comes with it. You don't need it. There is no value to that whatsoever, in my opinion. Now, if you have these things, and again, I'm guilty of some of them myself, that's cool. We all do things for our own reasons, right? But some of these just don't make sense to me. Tacoma mods that make no sense, right? Leave a comment. Let me know if you agree. I'd be curious. Also, if I've left anything else out, let me know. Do you have any mods on your truck that make no sense? I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator out here. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, Smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.